Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of our TAM Nano Lab series. I am Rahul Ramakrishnan, part of the Technical Account Manager team at VMware. In this session, we will go through the integration between Verilize Network Insight version 6.0, which is the latest, and Verilize Operations version 8.2. As a brief agenda for today, I will just have two slides followed by the demo where first I'll talk about an overview of this integration between the two tools, followed by the visibility into uh, VRNI application groups from VROps, which is newly introduced with uh, VRNI 6.0 and VROps version 8.2. To give you a quick overview of this integration, which was first introduced in VRNI 5.2 uh, with VROps, the objective was to introduce a network aware troubleshooting within Verilize operations. Rather than having to look at two different tools, one for infrastructure and other for network and security separately. In terms of features, what was introduced were one, launch in context into VRNI from VROps. Uh, streaming of triggered VRNI events or alerts into VROps and finally the single sign-on between VRNI and VROps when using uh, VMware VIDM authentication method. So this was achieved by separately installing and configuring a VRNI management pack for VROps uh, and then the VRNI objects or the shared objects as uh, they are called uh, which could be interpreted by VR ops such as VMs, uh, NSX components, yes, and the ones which uh, certainly need the NSX management pack also to be configured on VR ops separately, and other vSphere objects such as hosts and clusters. So this made admin's life easier, where uh, VR ops can now be the first source of troubleshooting information even for uh, network-related issues. Coming to VRNI 6.0, which is the latest version, what got newly introduced is the application awareness, which really takes this integration to the next level. The application groups which we create in VRNI are now recognized within VROps, thereby uh, enabling an application-centric troubleshooting and analysis both from uh, infrastructure or from a networking perspective, which we will see in the demo. As you can see, this is a VRNI screenshot where you can see the application groups uh, that are created and listed. Now, this could be based on VMs, networks, uh, security tags, container objects, and so on. The same application can now be searched and viewed from VROps as a native object. As you can see, we are on the troubleshooting workbench page where VROps can highlight any potential cause of an issue related to that application group where the source could be any of the subcomponents of the application like the VMs or hosts or even the data stores with, uh, to which the VMs are associated. We can then go back into VRNI and uh, troubleshoot further based on the network flow metrics and the events for the same application group. So let's quickly go into the demo here. So what I would like to start with is the configuration. Right. So as I mentioned, in VRNI version 5.2 and VROps, in VROps we had to deploy and configure the management pack for VRNI separately. But as you can see here, this is VROps 8.2. We have the integration which is native and inbuilt. So you have the VRNI adapter listed here. We just need to edit and then configure the same with the FQDN or the IP address of your VRNI uh, platform appliance with the credentials. We can validate the connection. We can also specify under advanced settings uh, what kind of events do we need to bring in from VRNI into VROps and what level of severity, whether it is critical, moderate, or warning. So once this configuration is saved successfully, uh, it will start the data collection. We can go into the inventory tab under administration on VROps and you have adapter types and if you scroll down you see the adapter which is the Verilize Network Inside adapter listed and you can see whether the data collection is happening successfully or not. So that is on the initial configuration. Now going into the alerts as I mentioned so the alerts and events from Network Inside can be streamed into VROps. Now we are on the VROps alerts tab so here we can see that we can group the alerts by object type and we can see the VRNI alerts as an object. This is an object which is 
all these alerts which are triggered on the object type vrni alerts now this could be notification events uh, related to data sources or uh, let's say bgp status down or any of the host not reachable connectivity issues so all those alerts are something which we can view from this particular object type and also we have another one object type under alerts which is called as the vrni tier now this this will list all those objects which VROPS has identified as part of the VRNI tier. And as you can see here, these are all the alerts which are generated on the application groups. So app, video, DNS servers, VDI pool, these are all application groups from VRNI and all the alerts generated on those which are now visible on VRealize operations. So with that, we will go into the applications, the, 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 the feature which is now newly introduced in VRNI 6.0 with VROPS 8.2. So first of all, what we will do is we'll go into the VRNI page. We will list, we will see the applications. So we can either just type in, in the search application, it will list down all the applications. And as you can see, these are the applications which are created and discovered in Network Insight. So let's say I'll, I'll pick an application called Shopping App. So I click on that and it will give me the application group summary as to how many events, how much of incoming traffic, how much of outgoing traffic, how many flows, uh, countries associated, and what are the different VMs which are associated with that particular application group. So in this case, uh, we can see that there are two VMs. So one of them, which is a DB VM, and one of them, which is a web VM. So let's say there is a problem which is reported with this particular application. Uh, it could be a performance issue, or it could be a network uh, related issue. So what we can do is we can go back into VROPS and search for this application group as a native VROPS object. So I'm just going to search it as a shopping app. And as you can see, it is it has discovered this as a VRNI object in, in VROPS with this integration. And it shows me the whole summary, the alerts and the metrics associated with this application group. So let's straight away go into the troubleshooting workbench for any other, as how it is for any other native objects. VROPS would show any related events, uh, any property changes. For example, if the VMs have moved from one host to the other and the CPU speed has changed. So all those property changes can be listed here and any anomalous metrics uh, corresponding to the uh, subcomponents or the uh, or the VMs which are part of the application group. So for example, it is now showing me the CPU ready percentage value going above a certain threshold value for the DB VM. So similarly, there is CPU contention percentage. Uh, there is memory usage uh, value which is which is going down, which is uh, found to be uh, abnormal. So we can actually increase the scope of the troubleshooting work workbench on VROPS and it will even give me such uh, uh, anomalies which is related to or events uh, which is related to other objects like the underlining storage for example the data store the underlining data store which is an nfs data store in this case so it, it actually shows me the virtual machine use disk space uh, going beyond a certain threshold value or the snapshot consume this disk space going beyond a certain threshold value so what i'm trying to say here is we are looking at this application group from an infrastructure perspective from all the angles so we have got 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 the complete view of this application from VROPS. now from a networking perspective we can again go back into this uh, uh, application um, on network inside and as you can see there are two critical events which are generated uh, on network inside so we can see what those are so here we can see that there is an analytical analytics threshold event which is uh, generated. So uh, let's see what they are. So this is two analytical threshold event which is generated under the configuration app packet drop. This is a, a, a configuration and an anomaly threshold configuration which has been done. So as you can see, it's an event generated in VRNI based on an analytical threshold that's created to track packet drops in this case, right? So here, this was a small example of how we can effectively use the integration between VRNI and VROPS to perform uh, application-centric troubleshooting, both from infrastructure as well as from networking or security perspective. So thanks for watching.